One advice that I received uh, must have been five years ago now was uh, solve uh, people, uh, not problems. With the mobility of people, money, groceries, and delivery on the super app, what's next for Kareem? You know, we're still very early in that journey. Even the things that you see currently on the super app, mobility, food, groceries, if you look at where we are in adoption, in penetration, we're still extremely early compared to what other parts of the world have seen and compared to the size of the opportunity. So the first priority for us is to just scale these things and make them as accessible and affordable to more and more people in the region. What are your views on the recent labor concerns? We are extremely uh, concerned uh, and uh, connected to uh, supporting captains, uh, making sure that uh, not only are they earning enough, but they're earning in a respectable way, they have a safe means of conducting their business, and we have um, other things that we can do for them as well. You know, in places like Pakistan, we've even signed up with schools that give discounts for the kids of captains. So this is something that, uh, this is a stakeholder segment uh, that we are very, very close to at the very, very purpose of Kareem. How will Kareem accelerate a push towards electric mobility? Yeah, so look, climate change is, uh, is not uh, a topic that's foreign to the region. And many parts of our region are on the frontiers of the impact from climate change. If you look at places like Pakistan and Jordan, uh, it's, it's pretty dire and we need to turn this around very, very quickly. So this is a problem that we feel it's our problem as much as it is anyone else's problem. And we've done a few things uh, and we'll do a few more, but the things that we've done already, you probably go around Dubai and see a lot of Kareem electric bikes. So this is one way that we are getting, giving people a more sustainable way to go from point A to point B. We are in the process of doing something that will also electrify all our delivery fleet. So this is something that will uh, be one, the next step uh, in that direction. And if you open the Kareem app in Dubai, you will also see a way to order hybrid cars. So that option already is available on the app. And as it makes sense, we'll launch this in other parts of the footprint as well. So these are two or three things that we have done. But this is something that, as I mentioned, we believe it is our responsibility uh, to play a part. The region is at the frontier uh, of the impact and we will do what it takes uh, and in our power to make it happen. Do you foresee a major transformation in the future model of ride hail services? So mobility and ride hail has, uh, has come a long way in the last 10 years. Um, services have become way more available uh, in more parts of the region than they were ever before. But the one big frontier that we need to still cross is affordability. Uh, for most uh, people in the region, these ride hailing platforms are still quite expensive. Um, so affordability is a big, big frontier that we need to overcome. And there are a few ways one can tackle affordability. One, you can tackle affordability by increasing the utilizations of these cars and these captains. If you are able to give them work, more work throughout the day than automatically, than every trip, they need to make less money on because they're actually quite busy throughout the day. So this is something that we are doing by finding creative and innovative ways of uh, giving them delivery orders and other things that they could do throughout the day so that utilizations go up and the cost of providing a trip goes down. There's also things that you can do with uh, different sizes of vehicles, small vehicles, and the smallest one, of course, is a motorbike that you can transport people on, and you can start experimenting with large vehicle sizes as well that have their own economies of scale. So that's another aspect that uh, we believe is important to go after affordability. Uh, and last but not least, you know, there are parts of the region where public transport is available, is, uh, is being built, and there is an aspect of ride hailing. How do we integrate ride hailing better into those public transport uh, options that are starting to become available, whether it is a metro in Dubai, metro in Riyadh, and many other parts of the region. Will the Kareem app accept crypto or Bitcoin as a payment method soon? Yeah, look, Bitcoin uh, and, and crypto uh, is a big topic uh, globally these days. And you know, at the end of the day, we care about uh, Kareem's purpose to simplify the lives of people in this region. And if we can work with something that helps us achieve that purpose, accelerates our, our, our journey to that purpose, then this is something that we want to embrace and we want to uh, be, be all over it. Now, our current uh, view on accepting crypto uh, for Kareem services is that it's still quite expensive to accept crypto. The transaction cost for small transactions that we do on our super app 
it's still not feasible to, to work with crypto uh, uh, for that uh, use case. But this is a technology that we believe in. We have actually opened a role to ha get ahead of crypto in Kareem. And the idea is, let's start learning. Let's start experimenting with blockchain, with, uh, with an open ledger. And over time, I'm sure we will find applications that can help accelerate our path towards Kareem's purpose. A fact about you that may surprise people. Look, I've been doing this for 10 years and uh, I've done a lot of uh, interviews and, and things. So there's probably not many things that people uh, will find surprising, except that uh, my wife thinks I'm quite boring. Um, but that's about it. The best piece of advice you've ever received. Scaling a business is hard, uh, especially when you are building a business that is growing rapidly. Uh, a lot of things need to change very rapidly, including how you manage and how you lead. And, and one advice that I received uh, must have been five years ago now was uh, solve uh, people, uh, not problems. Because my natural instinct is to get involved and start solving problems. But you can only solve problems for so long. Um, at some point, the organization becomes so large, there are a lot of problems to solve, and you cannot bring your best self to solving every problem. So if you can solve people, meaning get the right people in the right roles at the right time, and have them solve the problems for you, that's way more scalable. And that's uh, probably the best advice that I received to scale a business.